surgical mask. Now over here I've got an example of a surgical mask. As you can see, it is quite thin. And the original purpose of the surgical mask is for surgeons to use during surgery because it helps to keep out bugs from the surgeon's mouth and the nose going onto the patient during their sterile field during surgery. Of course, you don't want to create an infection. But it isn't able to keep out viruses because it is not tight fitting enough on the face. And I'll demonstrate to you how we place this on. So the surgical mask is placed around the nose and you press in with the metal so it's closely pressed by your cheekbones and then you place the elastic bands over the ears like so on both sides and finally bringing down this area to cover the chin but as you can see there is a lot of gap seepage of air from here and also down here as well and hence that is why it's not suitable for protection against viruses so that is your surgical mask and the way that you will remove it is obviously taking off from your ears folding it over like so and disposing it in the as a valve compared to the N95 respirator which doesn't have a valve so this in theory will make it a bit more comfortable to breathe in for those long periods of time that you may be wearing it in addition it does have some elastic bands you can place around your head so the first thing is to do is to place it around the mouth and as you can see, without moving the metal at all, it doesn't fit very snugly. Let's take a look. There's plenty of space here. So what I'm going to do is press down on the metal. Yep, and give it a nice snug fit so it's around my nose and my cheekbones. And now that it's got a nice snug fit, I'm going to place over the elastic bands across my head, starting with the bottom one. And then the top one. one going above my ears and the other one going below my ears like so. 